This is Michael Ware. You're listening to The Morning Five, brought to you in partnership with the That Sounds Fun Network, supported by the Center for Christianity and Public Life. Today is Wednesday, June 7th, 2023. Let's begin with a reading from Scripture. We'll read from the 90th Psalm today. Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the whole world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn people back to dust, saying, Return to dust, you mortals. A thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by, or like a watch in the night. Yet you sweep people away in the sleep of death. They are like the new grass of the morning. In the morning it springs up new, but by evening it is dry and withered. We are consumed by your anger and terrified by your indignation. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins, in the light of your presence. All our days pass away under your wrath. We finish our years with a moan. Our days may come to 70 years or 80 if our strength endures, yet the best of them are but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass and we fly away. If only we knew the power of your anger. Your wrath is as great as the fear that is your due. Teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. May God bless the reading of his word. Well, friends, welcome to Wednesday. It's good to be with you, as always. Would encourage you to check out whereweare.substack.com. That's W-E-A-R dot uh, whereweare.substack.com. Uh, that is the home base, not just for this podcast, not just for the podcast we do on the weekend, uh, but all the material we send, all the content we send throughout the week through the Where We Are newsletter. Um, uh, by supporting us there, you'll support Melissa and I in this work that we do here. And so again, whereweare.substack.com. All right, let's get to the news. First, uh, Denver, a city that is rapidly growing, has nearly doubled in size in the last 30 years, had its mayoral election, uh, a runoff election, yesterday and mike johnston former chief of staff to now senator john hickenlooper uh, and former state senator and someone who served in a variety of roles in colorado uh, he ran for a statewide race uh, and lost before but now he will be denver's next mayor and so uh, new leadership uh, after uh, over 10 years of Mayor Michael Hancock, uh, uh, a new leadership in a very significant city in the United States. Second, uh, this has been a, a news item today, uh, a bit um, unexpected smoke from hundreds of wildfires in eastern Canada has drifted south, uh, causing air alerts across much of the northern U.S., basically uh, from the east coast to the Midwest. Uh, uh, and... Uh, it's a significant sort of ecological disaster, certainly in Canada, but affecting such a tremendous swath of, uh, of the United States. And so both Canadian, American officials are warning uh, folks about the poor air quality and uh, would just urge folks to err on the side of caution, something like, you know, an air alert. You figure, you know, I'll be able to determine how much I can handle, uh, but I just encourage you to be, to be cautious. All right, the, the final news item, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie 
announced he will run for president again. He ran in 2016. He'll run again in 2024. He announced in New Hampshire. Uh, really interesting, compelling, I think, announcement. Very conversational, both, you know, literally in the sense that most of the event was for uh, audience Q&A, but also his opening remarks were very, were, were conversational. I thought uh, really one interesting dynamic is, um, I, and I wasn't expecting this from, from Christie so much, um, he's, he, he sort of served as explainer of political issues, of dynamics, in a way that could be a contrast to both the chief runner in the Republican Party and if he got far enough, potentially, to, uh, to Joe Biden. Um, uh, Chris Christie notably went directly after critiquing Donald Trump by name throughout both his opening remarks and in Q&A, sometimes when he was asked about Trump directly, other times when he was asked about issues, and he'd sort of divert the conversation to Trump. Uh, he also gave uh, extended comments on public service and, uh, and, and the importance of character. Uh, I have more to say about Governor Chris Christie uh, down the road, of course. I will say my expectations were fairly low for his announcement uh, but he, he exceeded them. I think he's going to be an interesting, interesting candidate for a number of reasons, not just uh, for the way he clearly views his pathway to victory is through a, a confrontational, uh, as he said, differentiation uh, with the front runner in the Republican primary at this point. All right, that's the news for today. Um, again, thanks for listening. Let's close with prayer. Dear Father, always near us, may your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad because you are the one in charge and you have all the power and the glory too is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it. Okay, friends, have a good Wednesday. Talk to you tomorrow.